In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what it actually takes nowadays to become a full-time online coach, how you can actually make this a full-time and sustainable business for yourself and go full-time in your coaching business. I truly believe over my years of doing this, I've been full-time for years now and I've made this a really sustainable business where I'm able to make a lot of income while also having a lot of freedom at the same time. And I think really my schedule looks a lot of different to a lot of coaches who Firstly, I'm able to be, you know, fully booked up and having a lot of income coming in without having the back-to-back -back meetings, without constantly launching something new. I just have one main offer and I'm not working, needing to work nine to five hours every single day as well. So I have a very simplified business compared to what you would expect from a full-time coach. And I think that is what for me has made it so sustainable to actually be full-time as a coach in my business. At the same time of having all the simplicity and having all of this, you know, freedom within the business, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm still posting five times a week to Instagram, seven times a week to YouTube. I made $13,000 in January. And, you know, I have a lot of simplicity and freedom and also a lot of this big success as well. And I think really this, everything that has led to this is the key to actually going full time in your coaching business. And that is actually realizing that simplicity is the thing to be prioritizing, not necessarily the income itself, because yes, you can have the income, but I've seen so many people get full time, get fully booked out and then burn out from that and end up having to leave their business and then it doesn't become a full-time sustainable business for them. So I think actually the key is not in necessarily the income or the clients in the way that we think it is, it's really in the simplicity. And a big shift I made just early on was realizing that there are so many things I could do in my business. There are so many ways we can get clients, so many platforms we can show up on, so many different ideas of content we can have, etc. There's just so much we can do but we don't need to do all of it and we shouldn't be doing all of it either. We actually instead just need to realize that we actually just need to prioritize the things which do lead to results and simplify where we're focusing our attention. And that is what allows us to actually become full-time coaches and make it sustainable. So we are still gonna be here in five years time as well. I intentionally know that I'm leaving money on the table by not spending more time in certain areas of my business. There is more time I absolutely could be spending doing free webinars, doing collaborations, doing you know more time in Facebook groups, etc. But leaving those things off of my schedule is what has allowed me to make six figures while traveling as a full-time coach because I'm so focused in on what the big money makers are in my business. I'm not focused in on these small things which might get me small results. I'm really focused on the things that actually move the needle for me, actually get me the big results and actually move my business forward. So that means that my business is really simplified, really streamlined. It's actually focused on things which are getting me clients, actually are making me money, actually are getting me results. And to be honest, that has been the thing which has allowed me to be a full-time coach, has allowed me to actually stick around and do this for multiple years now and continuing to do this years into the future as well. And um, this is what makes it so sustainable, not just chasing and focusing on the income and the clients and the sales, as amazing as those things are, but actually focusing on being more simplified with things, being more strategic in how we're achieving those things so we can actually get them and they can be really sustainable as well. So that is how I became a full-time coach and what I think it really takes nowadays to go full-time in a coaching business, not just getting more clients, getting more income, etc., but actually making sure that you are sustainable in your business and you're able to actually be here in five years time as well. If you found this helpful, make sure you hit the like button below, make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss daily videos and I will see you in the next one tomorrow.